All right, we're back. We'll do a little uh, cons comparison between the old uh, Irwin. Oh, that's right, kids. The Milwaukee Fastback. Which version is this? Well, that's the 4822-1502 with onboard blade. Uh, yep. And this is the Irwin IW... HT looks like 1057.3 with on board. Yep. Let's give the old flick, see what happens. Out with him. No blade that one, apparently. Great video, Els. All right. Let's grab a blade real quick. The reason I don't have a blade there is because I, I swapped all the blades to, so they'd be all the exact same. So I'm going to weigh this stuff out and do some, do some things here, so... You can see how this one works. You press there, a little cantilever. It does detent into this position. That is a locked position, which is interesting. When the blades are out, it adds a little more uh, oomph to the, uh, the swingy. Uh, this, I've noticed, if you squeeze too hard, you can, you can flex the frame. There's no detent until it's open that's closed and open there is a detent right there that's a lock you can actually get in there and get some so that is a feature also uh this has no protruding blade lock whereas the blade lock on this one is protected but it's a button right there um something i learned about these that's designed to have a tape measure hooked into it like that. And you can do a scribe cut, drywall for example. It's actually a feature of this knife. <clears throat> this particular fastback seems to be more of a, a pure worker's tool utility knife because of the onboard uh, storage. And I'll show you that here. See, that'll hold five blades. Now, for an everyday carry, I don't know if the five blade version is really the one because it adds quite a bit of width to it. Now, some people like that grip, but if you got a if you got a blade in there, that's one blade, two blades, and I know <clears throat> the ones without the five blade storage, one can slide next to the liner locky area. You can get an extra blade, so that's two more cutting tips. This one. It swings out like that. It has a spring to retain, whereas this is a magnetic retention. I forgot to mention that. It also, I guess they're both plastic. These, these are very similar knives. I mean, that handle on the Irwin's a little bit longer, but the girth on them, it's a, you can get a handful on that. Like you can grip that. They're both like a metal. A little more plastic down here on the Irwin. A uh, little, little more straight shot, a little more ergonomic on the clips are very similar. I mean, you got a little bit more of a positive retention there, but they're both held on the same bent wire clips. I can say that I can't squeeze the frame of this one and keep it from flipping. This one I can definitely, that's, that's pressed but you don't give it a full press and she, she, she glides. You don't, to, you don't have to murder this button. I mean, I'll tell you the story on this. I was talking with the tradesman the other day and I was like, damn, all your shit's Milwaukee. Everything you own is Milwaukee. I mean, he had Milwaukee gloves on <clears throat> and he pulled out, he had the, the fast back with the screwdriver and I was like, oh dude, my buddy's got one of those. He loves them. Um, and he was just joking with me. He's like, He's like, you don't have any Milwaukee stuff? I was like, oh, I think I got like an old Sawzall. He's like, dude, you could have this. And he, he just gave this to me. It was beat to hell. I mean, it was so beat up he didn't even want it anymore. He had the version with the one blade, and then he had like two or three other type of deal. I don't even know. And I was like, I took a look at it. I was like, cool, man. That's, I was like, that's a cool knife. That, you know, and I, I gave it back to him. He's like, oh, you don't want it? I was like, do you want to give me this? He's like, yeah, you can have it. And I was like, thank you. You know, I learned in life, someone offers you something and 
you always you can give them an out once, but don't give them two outs. So that's my new fastback. It's very similar. Let's do the let's do the weight. Let me sit here and jaw my lips for a half hour. The Irwin's coming in at uh, yep five point three. Those be ounces, I believe. Four point nine, a little bit lighter. That's with full set of blades. And they're all the same. They're uh, using these Stanley American fresh, no grime. Take the blades out, just the one in the one in the chamber, if you will. So four point six, four point two. Yeah, it's a little bit lighter. Uh, I mean, there's more metal. This, this definitely feels more solid. This isn't bad. That There's a little flex in here. Like, that blade, it doesn't, it doesn't move much, but there is a little deflection you can get there. But, I mean, how hard are you? Ah, I gotta get a grip! Like, I'm totally happy with this Irwin. This was just a surprise. I mean, I like it. It's just not quite as... Uh, it's more bare bones, straight knife, where this is a little more ergonomic and it's got more options as far as, like, that could be, like, if you're doing, like, if you're cutting something straight down, like, a lot of repetitive, where that's a good angle to have, you don't have an option. I don't really know about these button things. Some people cry about them. They're both about the same thickness. They're, they're big in the hand. But that's, I mean, that's not a bad thing. So there you go. I know there's a lot of uh, Milwaukee fanboys out there, and there's people who are anti-Milwaukee somehow. I'm, I'm not anti-Milwaukee. I just can't afford the stuff. <laughs> like, I just don't have the budget for it because, like, they, they, they charge a premium. So I guess if you got any Milwaukee and you want to give it to me, yeah, I'll take it. I mean, I paid zero for that. I got that with a rebate for free, so, like, I wouldn't buy an Irwin one either, to be honest with you. To give you an idea, we can bring in this guy. That's just a regular, a regular. I don't know what he's got for blades in him right now. I don't know if he's got a full arsenal or not. Can I get that to pop open? These are really stiff to open. What's he? What, what's he packing? He's packing four blades. Just a little bonus bonus footage there for you. This is the kind of knife I carry with me when I'm working because I just don't these folding knives, these folding utility knives, like in a work setting for me, I don't want to be flipping a knife open. And plus, with the way it goes in my tool pouch, like that's just for me, it's that. Like I've taken hammers and beat on them. And I guess you could beat on one of these too if you wanted to. I mean, I wouldn't recommend it, but. Whatever. There. Just wasted eight minutes of your life. Stay safe.